and we've already tackled uh, around 80% of them. We've already taken um, in and final de decisions. One certain resolutions, and among of which were for the interest of the investors. Uh, just wanted to tell you the mobilization of uh, the government. Uh, this unit is uh, convened uh, to the maximum every two weeks uh, um, season. This opportunity to direct uh, all the relevant internet or rather to extend uh, the, my thanks and appreciation for the speedy resolution being taken in order to refer and take in positive uh, resolution some <coughs> of such <coughs> were for were um, there for years that required decisive resolutions in order to sort out the problems of investment and give positive messages that we are totally open for taking such decisions. A number of uh, CEOs uh, and owners uh, of corporations are present. Uh, allow me, in order before to open the space uh, for Q and &E, to give uh, the chance uh, for the corporation to explain their situations, investments, uh, problems uh, being solved. Uh, excuse me to give the floor to the. Um, corporations ahead to listen to their sayings and then to give the space to the um, few to ask the questions. <coughs> As he visited India to participate as a guest of honor for the 26th of January Republic Day function. We had uh, the opportunity of having a one-on-one -on -one with him. And uh, the comment he gave was that, I know you are a long-term player. So that goes uh, now to say that uh, the country respects the investors and the investments. Thank you very much. Thank you very I appreciate this. Thank you. Please, uh, just uh, for one minute each to give a chance for everyone to uh, do this. Uh, thanks uh, for the kind invitation to um, Ahmed Magdi, the uh, president of CEO in Egypt. Uh, unfortunately, the company uh, faced the problems before 2017. Starting from 2018, we started to, to make a protocol to expand. We have uh, one manufacturer in Port Said for 
3,000 uh, workers uh, and now we are 12, uh, we've made uh, 7 more, uh, 5 in side books, uh, 8 uh, in uh, 6th of October and 1 in the 10th of Ramadan. Our exportation has grown to 2250 million US dollar per year and uh, thank God that, that we uh, we've ranked the, the second company uh, exported corporation to the whole world uh, and God willing by your full support uh, ultimately the end of the first quarter of 2024 will be in the the biggest manufacturer in the tents of Ramadan will provide 10,000 uh, job opportunities. The size of exportation will be 500 million US dollar PE. Thank you, Mr. Premier. I'm Rahum Tafi, the CEO of El Dahra Egypt. It's an agricultural corporation to have an existence in Tushka and Sahaya. It's an Emirati corporation as present uh, in more than 2016 country we're talking about 14 400,000 fedan uh, being cultivated uh, recently we had some problems of registering the pieces of land uh, on way solution so we're looking forward to uh, cultivate in egypt so we request uh, for more spaces of uh, 250,000 Sudan, we are the biggest investor in Turkey. The cultivated area uh, uh, is 20,000 Sudan. We uh, produce wheat and corn. We are cultivating to more than 24,000 Sudan of wheat. Thank you. Mohammed Faisal, representative of Ghanim Agriculture. QET investment company were making uh, the biggest uh, green gas in the Middle East uh, of uh, 10.5 uh, for Fedan. We've managed to produce uh, more than 48 uh, produce, uh, productions on a daily basis uh, of size from seven to s from five to seven ton per day. All related paperwork and the size of production will be 80% of them into exportation. So the problems we are facing, the scarcity of the water, we use in most types of technology to uh, preserve the used water. More than 90% are saved compared to the traditional system. Our project from 2019 will face a more uh, uh, permissions uh, problems uh, from the Ministry of Agriculture. We've communicated with the unit of the troubleshooting for the investors. Uh, we found in a very effective and speedy communications, maybe till uh, midnight on a daily basis. Uh, We've already overcome most of the problems we've had and we are at the face of the operation and the effective production, production so God willing. Um, Osama Thaggy, the CEO of uh, Raya Electric, one of the uh, companies of the holding Raya, uh, is an Egyptian company, worked uh, in Egypt for 20 years, listed in the uh, stock from 2005, more than 15,000 employees. The main uh, job in Egypt, uh, plus uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, in Bahrain, Nigeria, expansion in the eastern of Africa, added in addition to investment in Poland. The fields we are operating we have a model of RIA for the information system and in the data analysis center, RIA for certain communication centers and have an inclusion for financial inclusion, such as AMAN for uh, the microfinance uh, uh, or the consuming finance. And We've decided to enter the industrial field uh, 10 years ago and uh, if we enter the percentage of uh, domestic production should be high in a very competitive feature. 
Ten years ago, we brought in a very distinguished uh, industry, which is uh, the recycling of the plastic waste that would allow to reduce uh, food packages uh, of full safety to the product. <coughs> We've established uh, and manufactured in 2017 to produce the frozen vegetables uh, of uh, production capacity of 40,000 tonnes to be exported uh, to Europe and the Middle East. Uh, three years ago, we already entered the, the household of Raya Electric uh, of investment of uh, 300 million Egyptian pounds. The, uh, the problem is uh, uh, of taking a, a permission of uh, industrial registration that is temporary. Once we wanted to import the product, the, the customs said that we should have paid the uh, total value and then to be refunded after the measurements. We've already managed to get uh, the permanent industrial registration. So upon refunding, it took uh, uh, for nine months to one year. We have approached the unit of uh, investor support in that uh, we've uh, uh, felt the speed of performance in within th three months all only, we've refunded the whole uh, money. <coughs> we have a manufacturer uh, to produce the um, AC of uh, biggest brands. We've called, we invite you to in visit the manufacturers, the highest technology in manufacturing the ACs, the ex and in order just to explore the expansion plan for us. So. <coughs> Uh, we have today six stores in Egypt and we have three factories. We export about 100 million USD every year, to, mainly to Europe, to benefit from the customs duties exemption. My question is, is very simple today. We are exporting 100 million USD to Europe and we are importing about 5 billion USD. We, have, we know that we are facing some, uh, some challenges in terms of shortage of the currency, is how to get a special example, exemption, sorry, to have the import goods through the approval from the central bank. Okay. Thank you. Rami Mekawi, a specialized the company in managing the, the chips and, and the maritime units who had uh, some uh, problems uh, from the recent increase uh, to uh, execute uh, some of uh, the ministerial uh, decrees. Uh, uh, for the old uh, uh, shipment. Uh, uh, we've already approached the problems to the unit of investment. We've okay. already managed to solve our work in a speedy manner, all the problems we've faced. Rida the CEO of the Al Falah company, to the uh, Ready Cement of a UAE that uh, had. Uh, investment in Gulf countries and other countries. We, it's a, a group of companies specialized in more than 50 activities. The first investment in Egypt uh, was in the ready-made uh, uh, cement uh, uh, building. So we had a problem so with the customer authority. We've already uh, complained a complaint. It was impressive highly performance legally and technically. Thank you for your support and your team. Mohammed Asi Mohammed he is the CEO of uh, the Pruminaria of uh, the Al Motras to, to uh, export uh, the uh, agricultural uh, groups. We had uh, some of the problems as you've known uh, been sorted out that encouraged the company to increase uh, its investment and therefore established one of the biggest uh, stations of exporting vegetables and uh, fruit in the Cairo Alexandria Road uh, Desert Road. Since a week, some of the products were in the top uh, in countries such as France, Italy, Romania, uh, India, and Bangladesh. It was uh, the 
<coughs> the fruit of uh, the troubleshoot and we've already submitted to the unit. I'm Ril Ghiliani from the, the Alexandria company for uh, the cars uh, uh, manufacturers. Uh, the size of investment uh, is 50 million euro. Currently, we are facing some uh, issues as uh, a result of declines. Uh, are facing uh, some challenges in Europe. We've already brought in a, a production a new line. Following the COVID-19 pandemic, we've already returned to cooperate, export to the real estate or the contracting sector. We've already got benefited from the floating of the Egyptian currency. We are in beneficiary. We've already have a privilege. There's an agreement between the us and the China, and we had a an issue with the electricity company due to the, the scheduling some of the debts so we've uh, uh, resorted to you and of course the uh, we were impressed of the efforts we've received from the unit. Thank you. Ahmed Gamal, representative from Dai Egypt Motors, established in the in economic zone established in 2016 so the company call is to produce uh, the motorbike and vehicles uh, to support the state in the field of the clean energy in 2016 being established we've already faced in the economic zone some of the issues being sorted out such as uh, the uh, importation and exportation rules that supported uh, several companies uh, in the area. Yet, uh, in currently, we're not operated because of uh, some of the uh, measures. We're a uh, Europe out issue. Thank you for your support. I think we've already ended up uh, the period from the corporations and so now we'll, it's time to take some of your questions. Good afternoon Mr. Premier, uh, Extra News uh, representative, uh, Chris Martin, uh, one for the uh, social uh, support net announced by Mr. President, uh, a statement followed by uh, an a detailed statement by the cabinet. Uh, what about the sector, the private sector? As you know, the uh, a biggest segmentation from the security. Are there going to be an, a call from the government to, to increase the fi financially to the sector? Second question: to with any subsidy provided by the government for the most uh, needed the uh, segmentation and another question that would be a, a possible uh, for another float into the uh, Egyptian currency as everybody's uh, much concerned about uh, for the first part of the questions regarding the private sector let me tell you a uh, part of uh, the package uh, announced by Mr. President uh, is just to in, uh, increase the uh, tax exemptions and that is directly uh, pr provide uh, directed to the private sector. If but most importantly, as you've mentioned, uh, uh, through the National Council of Wages, uh, we are meeting with the uh, institutions of the private sector in the framework uh, of increasing salaries. So, so what shall we do as I affirm to you? It is not a compulsory, but it is a... a it is an uh, option then the some of the private sector is re had a re already some taken some steps and were very eager that the private sector to work in the most strengths as it is the main engine of economy and the biggest employer of the economy in Egypt uh, but such a measurement uh, would be uh, based on a friendly agreement with the National Council of Wages. And the second 
issue of the question concerning the floating. We've already taken measurement uh, through the central bank. Allow me to take another decision to take uh, that uh, the clients is w uh, the flexibility is applied in determining the price of the currency. And we are de fixed the steps as the state with the full coordination with the government and the central bank. This, uh, for the, regarding the question to the main English, uh, that uh, as, uh, we are very eager to fulfill our commitments in the Egyptian state, thanks to, to God, uh, never been uh, delayed a day or in paying the uh, due uh, amount of money. And uh, as I said before, we've already laid out in a clear projection to the U.S. dollar resources through the year, which is to say how could we work with the gaps, the, the U.S. dollar gaps. I, allow me to get quotes said by one of my colleagues is that the floating have benefited the industry by increasing the competitiveness of the Egyptian products before the world market. Once again, it is a, a sole speciality of the central bank, but our eyes are hidden towards stability. We are very committed to be flexible according to the mechanism of supply and demand and will continue by uh, coordinating the government with the central bank. Now the, the cabinet is decided to increase the social protection to the low income segmentation. So, about this joint the the Kaful Akarama uh, program, as well as uh, the institutions in the, of uh, the National Alliance to join more subscribers. Let me say that we've already increased or added one million new family. We've, we've already moved from 4.1 million family to five million families have already increased a great uh, size, talking about the average of the family from four to five person per family, so we're about talking about 20 million Egyptian beneficiary. It was a great step in expanded the number, but according to the directives of Mr. President to increase the value of the compensation in itself, as we all know that the number uh, along with the floating and inflation that required us to do this, uh, we've increased the number and we've already uh, the increased the, incre the allocated uh, financial side, uh, which is in a part of the uh, package uh, we've already mentioned <coughs> of social network. <coughs> Following the the adoption of the government to the offering uh, program of 32 companies. Some would say, would like to know when is it going to be the offering during a very short time. It is well known not to say in a very specific time. The second thing, some of the officials in the government uh, started to talk about sectors w that weren't included uh, of the list, uh, the 32 com corporation list. Thank you. <coughs> Thanks for your question. Let me uh, remind you that sometimes uh, statements uh, are forgotten. We've already, where upon launching the program, I said 32 corporation, regardless, uh, other than the other uh, uh, companies will uh, 
uh, be included. And I said that this would uh, continue till the end of the first quarter of 2022. Targeted at least 25% uh, to be finished for, uh, within the first six months. But I said that the, these companies, when we talk about the primary offering, <coughs> or for the first time, whether it's for before a strategic investor or to the stock market, the principles of DIC announced it with nothing uh, wrong or to harm it by saying that we are going to offer, but we're saying to say yearly offering to offer some chairs for in a very in place companies in the market who cannot just uh, declare the names or the time without announcement uh, so not to say or some would say that some of the companies could be uh, for offered uh, that weren't included in 32 the yearly offering cannot be announced that would be uh, included according to the appropriate uh, uh, timetable the second part and I say it is possible not to have uh, or, or to have more offering companies uh, more than the 32 we've already mentioned as we agreed of one company to two that weren't included in that list sometimes uh, some of the agreement it is better for the interest of everybody to be, to be confidential until the order measure has been taken. I'd like to aff affirm to you just to be more clarified. There are virtual uh, entities such as banks, insurance companies, some of uh, the industrial corporations that they thought their size would exceed 300 to 400 US dollar. The privilege will be going into towards the strategic investor vis-a-vis -vis the biggest uh, corporation to be included altogether so once they entered would be maximize the asset or the state asset so I affirm so the biggest or the mega entities with the strategic investors and apart of this would be offered to the, the stock market uh, for all Egyptians and the other part will be have different mechanism let me just uh, tell you that uh, we'll be having a number of these uh, biggest uh, uh, corporations to be uh, use uh, an offering consultant uh, do we have uh, more professionals who have an ability to uh, uh, approach the world market and this will be announced uh, successively before the world consultant uh, to manage uh, the offering of the big corporations uh, or entities I'm talking about uh, that we are these entities uh, that we are targeting to be offered uh, in to the world market uh, to in order to get uh, the uh, biggest uh, revenues. Mentioning the supporting industry, is there any plan to reevaluate us in some of the manufacturers that would help the concern of the industrial sector? The second thing, are there any other plan to, for investing these to such a direction? In very successive uh, meeting of the government to uh, the regarding the issue of investing or promoting the exportation and support the egyptian uh, industries such as the localization we've already chosen a specific number until to be announced will be targeted with uh, very 
exceptional incentives uh, the goal will be is to deduct uh, f from the exportation bill and to be acknowledged uh, in a very short time in order to assist uh, to more in encouragement for uh, specific uh, sectors of already choosing and their size uh, as a to start to uh, save from 10 to 15 million US dollar per year. They should encourage the use certainly through the meetings uh, of uh, the uh, SMEs uh, sector as well as the banks in order to uh, tailor programs uh, targeting the start-ups They will be targeting at a larger scale lately. Mr. Premier, it is noticeably, you can notice it, your concern of the investment as well as the troubleshooting invested investors unit. They are present here, them and others from the abroad have a vision. What about the Egyptian vision of the tax policy that uh, the Egyptian government will uh, adopt. As I said before, the Egyptian tax policy, as I announced, is the taxation stability in order uh, to uh, self assure the investors. And today, one of the uh, laws uh, being discussed in the cabinet talking about uh, several facilitations in order to encourage more investment and the taxation stability requested by the Egyptian or the foreign corporation in Egypt. Uh, certainly the issue of uh, the taxation stability in order to direct for more facilitation in the upcoming period. The last question, please. Ahmad Isa from Akbar Leon Portal News. Some rumors spread recently. What would you, what is your take? Uh, some would say that uh, mentioning some of the manufacturers uh, uh, being closed. Thank you for your question. The Egyptian state as uh, such as different uh, countries uh, to what is called uh, the fifth or the four and fifth generations wars uh, mentioned uh, previously and repeatedly by Mr. President. A rumor to be spread or a news, uh, us as individuals uh, should evaluate it uh, rationally, in a rational way, because it happens uh, um, most of the time once the news or the rumor, so every user for the internet to share it. Uh, to be noticed and received by hundreds of thousands of the people, that would make us uh, to say it's a part of uh, the modern wars, the fourth generation wars. To be more transparent is just to give an impression of uh, uh, depression and pacifism among the people. Other than our rules as citizens, we as the state are move, uh, working. As you can notice, once the room has been spread in the same day through this media center of the government, we respond and explain that this rumor uh, isn't true. As I said to you, such a phenomenon. Uh, uh, many countries uh, are suffering, not only Egypt, but uh, we have uh, m 
several mechanisms to re re respond and clarify before the citizens to self-assure them. I wish to conclude this uh, briefing by saying the eagerness of the Egyptian state, the unprecedented um, crisis is to maintain the stability of the uh, Egyptian state, the mitigation to the maximum by the uh, state against the financial burgess and that we are fully aware that Egyptian citizens uh, be, uh, should dream as upon any shortage of any merchandise the state is uh, w uh, laying out some of the very urgent solutions uh, uh, such as the importation we are working in a very uh, exceptional circumstances and we every day there is something that is exceptional that uh, do not require any very traditional solutions that would lead us to work in a very unprecedented uh, crisis in the meantime we are working in, in parallel i mean uh, toward the form of uh, uh, economically and it's a solution in order to guarantee the growth of uh, Egyptian. Egypt is the biggest country that in each year is increasing by two million people. Our target is to create job opportunities uh, to maintain the stability of the Egyptian state and this is that we are working on it in the state that we're not working on the uh, using the system of the reaction in light of uh, the current circumstances. But in the meantime, we're working in a very aggressive uh, uh, plan in order to guarantee the stability for the different state. Thank you for being here as you attend the NIS as well as the, the investors. Thank you. Be the first to know.